Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure everybody is smashing that subscribe button down below and the like is always appreciated. The gameplay you are watching in the background is a game on Shoot House. It is a pretty insane gameplay. I dropped some insane streaks. It's very high kill gameplay. But today we received a very, very special update. Yet again, another patch update for Modern Warfare, patch 1.08. And there is even more amazing fixes which are going to balance this game out even more. Let's hop straight into it. We have general fixes, basically more back-end fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability across all modes and all platforms. So if your game's been crashing or you've been experiencing some, I don't know, any kind of issues with the game connecting to the servers and all that kind of stuff, then that should be no more. We have a uh, patch for the right shield. It fixes a bug where a player using the right shield would not take explosive damage during certain situations. I have come across this myself. I threw nades at right shields, uh, you know, right at the feet, and they just don't take any damage whatsoever. And I'm just left wondering what the hell is going off. Um, but it is what it is. That's fixed. There is also also an issue with the right shield where the right shield would stow on the player's back when using stim. Uh, so basically, if using stim shot, um, you got the right shield on. You use stim shot, then the right shield will automatically be put away onto your back, and it won't be covering the front. So I've not come across that myself. Obviously, I don't use the right shield. I'm not that kind of guy. Um, but I can imagine that would be pretty annoying if you are using the right shield. But that shouldn't be any more, which is awesome. Now onto some more important things than the right shield. Something that has been bugging me since the game has come out. We had a little bit of a fix last week, but this week we have a patch for footsteps. Finally, should be fixed. So here we go. It is adjusted to always play walk footstep sounds when in ADS or crouch, independent of speed. Um, wait a minute. Is that right? I thought there was. Make it silent when you crouch. Apparently not. Wow. What the hell? What is increase the speed in which you can remain using the walk footstep sound sounds by slightly pressing on the movement stick. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I know I'm really finding it hard to understand what's happening here. I think what we're getting at here is whilst crouching in ADS, your footsteps should be a lot more quiet. Because as in the previous patch notes we did receive that is what they said they will be fixing this time round to do a footstep so I don't think it's quite worded like that it was quite it's actually quite difficult to understand um, I'm literally got the patch notes in front of me right now but I'm pretty sure that is what it means that the footsteps will now become silent as we do crash in ADS which is amazing we have a patch for challenges a general fix for the UI and challenge state getting out of sync so basically um, let's say you've got to do 10 headshots you will be on nine headshots need one more but on the challenge status it will say you only have like four headshots something weird like that I've come across this myself kind of annoying kind of thinking like you're not making any progress but you are it's just not keeping up to date but thankfully that's been fixed so we can keep track of our challenges more easily we have a fix for a challenge rated error that could occur which is dev error five four seven six not per not experienced this myself but if you have it's been fixed so that's awesome fix for mission challenge description which is get kills with a burst weapons being too vague not sure what that means i've not used any burst weapons not come across this challenge so you know if you have been going for kills with burst weapons this has been fixed so you'll be really really glad to know piccadilly oh oh man this is the first time me reading these patch notes so i'm really really happy with this spawn tuning while playing tdm and domination on piccadilly oh my god how many times have you been spawn trapped on piccadilly Tell me it's a million times because it is. Um, thankfully, this has been fixed. No more. I'm really, really happy about that. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy. Domination flag also adjust adjustments on that map. B flag is now near the buses instead of the center fountain. I actually never played Domination on this map, so you know, didn't really affect me. I, I mean, if that was a problem on the fountain, which you can't see it being, but it is kind of open, I guess. I guess it would be really hard to catch the cap that flag. Um, but yeah, anyway. We have some weapon buffs and nerfs here to finish it off. ARs, we have a minor hip spread adjustment. Very vague, not really sure what that's going to mean. Uh, I know they did actually increase the hip fire spread of all the ARs in the last update, so maybe they've just sort of tweaked it a little bit. The 725 has now reduced range. Again, it's been nerfed again, but believe me, it's still overpowered. Uh, I used it last night, so maybe the reduced range 
should sort of balance it a little bit more out. Obviously, the reduced range it means it's not going to be as dominant from far away, obviously. The M4 has an increased hip spread and decreased damage to the head. I've been one hit to the head of this thing. Oh my life. The headshot multiplier in this game is really high compared to other games. But with the M4, it was to another level. So thankfully that's been fixed. The foul has reduced recoil and increased ADS speed. I've not used the foul apart from in gunfight. I thought it was pretty awful. But hopefully, reduced recoil and increased ADS speed. Hopefully it could be a laser, which would be really, really good. Sort of similar to the, is it the G3 off the original Modern Warfare? That gun was a beast. I would love to see something similar to that in this game. The EB14 has increased ADS speed. I don't even know what gun that is. I've never even heard of the EB14. No idea. But anyway, if you've used that gun, it has increased ADS speed, which you can't complain. And miscellaneous ammo reserve adjustments upon spawning to be in line with other weapons of their class. So basically, you might have a different ammo reserve f using the MP7 and the MP5, but now it's going to be balanced out, so all SMGs will have the same ammo reserve. And finally, we have special operations. Fix it for a bug where a player using the overkill perk with an SMG has as their secondary, which sometimes spawn without a primary weapon when joining a match in progress. Never experienced it, don't use overkill, because I just don't. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the patch 1.08. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. I think it's going to be pretty insane. I love to see how they're keeping on top of all the bad stuff in this game, which is super annoying and actually going to nerf this kind of stuff. So that's very, very great. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you are new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below. I am posting daily Call of Duty Modern Warfare content. As always, keeping up to date with all the news, gameplays, and all that kind of stuff. Video coming out tomorrow on the MP7. Believe me, this gun is the best gun in the game if you haven't used it already. There's actually a way to get it uh, quicker than hitting the very high rank you have to be to unlock it, which I'll be covering in tomorrow's video. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and make sure you do have bell notifications turned on as well so you don't miss out on this video. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.